Remake. Well, if one of the boats could be arse, well, hand me a glass of gin and Dubonnet and let's all stand around gulping at this thing, glass in hand, pretending that we understand the life struggles of the artist. Is that what they do in art galleries? I don't know. What I do know, mate, is this thing is absolutely spectacular. It's not the most important thing when you're buying a motherboard. I understand that. Features and functionality are the most important things. But when I got this off Asus, I was just blown away by it. Absolutely staggered by how stunning and just well-designed aesthetically this thing is. But then when you dive into the features, it just gets better. So yeah, this is all part of the Z690 Intel and Intel 12th Gen all the release, which is happening very soon, which if you're following the scene, which I'm sure you do if you're watching this, then you're well aware it's happening very shortly. The information's been leaking more than a Renault powered Formula One car. Uh, Alder Lake's coming on November 4th. And yeah, this the Z690 platform forms part of that. So I'll be doing separate videos on Alder Lake when it releases on November 4th. My samples are hopefully arriving today. I still can't switch this thing on, first world problems. But yeah, just a preview of this board. Massive shout out to Asus for sending this over because this is right up my street. But yeah, if you want to see all the late coverage, 12th gen coverage, when that lands, covering not games, but actual professional applications and how that works with you know, AutoCAD, Inventor, 3D CAD applications, because this, mate, it's not your average Intel release. This is not your the same stuff we've been getting for the last sort of five years, where it's just a couple of megahertz here, a couple of cores there, just a bump. This is a complete architecture redesign and how that actually is going to work on professional applications it's a bit up in the air. So I'm, I'm, I need it, I'm itching to test it. It's either gonna be spectacular or I've seen some things and I need, I need to check it out. So get subscribed mate, ding the bell because I'm gonna be covering that in its fullest. Okay, let's take a look at this, the Pro Art board. This will or my main daily driver rig when all the late launches though, because this has got so much to it. Part of it is what Alder Lake brings, but then also what just Asus have packed in here is just mucho bonus. All right, so you've got your LGA 1700 socket in here, and then you've got your dim slots. Now, one thing to be careful of, which I just had to clarify before shooting, was DDR4 and DDR5. So the Intel 11th gen, or no, the Intel 12th gen platform supports both DDR4 and DDR5. However, the motherboards are being shipped with obviously either or. If you've got DDR4 modules at the moment, you're not going to be able to put them in a board with DDR5 modules. They're not interchangeable. So you just have to be careful what boards you're buying. If you're buying a board with DDR5 slots, like this one has, then you can't put your DDR4 modules in. And DDR5 on day one is going to be very expensive. Um, and it needs time to mature and get better over time. So over time, uh, there'll be more boards coming out with 12th gen support and DDR4 slots on them. And as the market sort of populates with different options, you'll just have more options. But yeah, you just have to be careful of that. You can't put DDR4 modules in DDR5 bays. It's got four of those. These are DDR5. Uh, you've got support for three GPUs in the PCI Express slots, which in total, well, it's, you know, it's PCI e Gen 5 platform has been raised to, which we just can't leverage at the moment. There's just nothing that leverages PCIe Gen 5, but Intel has just enabled it for the industry. And we've got four M.2 bays again, which when PCIe Gen 5 is enabled, that can be leveraged. But at the moment, PCIe Gen 4 storage is an option. Or M.2 bays, and then obviously you've got your SATA bays down there, or your SATA ports, which just makes this an absolute storage monster. Four M.2 bays, mate, that's just mental. On the rear I.O., you've got six USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports with support for 60 watt quick charge Ooh, 60 watt quick charge what and then you've got two thunderbolt 4 ports which when you connect up a, a display port from or display cable from your gpu into the display port in on the rear io that enables 8k well an 8 1 8k display out from the thunderbolt or two 4k displays which it's just options for creators so if you do need that multi monitor support uh, in addition to what your GPU offers, then you can just rig those out from uh, the motherboard I.O. And then you've got networking. So on the Z490 Pro Art, which I did review on the channel, I didn't adopt that board because it just I, I already had a Z490 platform uh, and it was just it didn't offer enough really for me to go through a full rebuild. 
The Z490 board had 10G. It was the main flagship feature of the Z490 Pro Watt board. But the 10G networking came on a separate add-in card, which I wasn't a massive fan of. I didn't think that was entirely necessary. This is now built into the rear I.O., which I felt it should have been all along, and it is now. And you've got your 2.5G networking as well, so dual LAN ports on the back. And as well as that, you've got Wi-Fi 6E with this. Honestly, Asus design team are absolutely killing it. Even the Wi-Fi antenna is a work of art. <laughs> it really is. So there you go. That's the ProArt uh, Z690 Creator Wi-Fi board. Just, just to wrap up the specs, just so I've, I, have, I mean, I've missed a lot. I've got, I've got a 30-page marketing document here, which I cannot possibly cover absolutely everything. Uh, the M.2 slots, just so you're aware, there is four, but two of them are 2210 or 22110 ports. The, the other ones are 2280 ports. There's eight SATA ports. Uh, then you've got USB, you've got 15 in total. So you've got eight on the rear, which you've got your six A's and two C's with support for seven on the front. Uh, the audio codec is Realtek S1220A. Uh, you've got RGB, you've still got RGB headers. Uh, it's an ATX form factor. Power stage is 16 by one and uh, onboard graphics is DisplayPort 1.4 with HDMI 2.1. But yeah, also comes with Asus software support, as you'd expect, uh, the Asus AI feature sets. With One of them that they've, I think they feel quite proud of is Asus, they call it AEMP, which is Asus Enhanced Memory Profiles. And the, the, the reason that Asus have introduced this is because XMP has been revised to 3.0 on the DDR5 platform, and that's not supported with every DDR5 memory module as of yet. So AE, AEMP users can still increase DDR5 memory performance using AEMP. So I think Asus are gonna be introducing pre-built memory overclocking profiles onto their boards uh, using AEMP. So that's just a proprietary benefit of Asus boards. But in terms of software, you've got all the AI noise cancellation stuff, which will be part of the, I can't remember what they call it, the, the, they call it the armory crate on the ROG stuff. Uh, the, I don't know what they call it now on the, is it the AI suite possibly still, if they still call it that? Or is it the Pro Art? I think they call it the Pro Art Creator Hub now. Uh, but yeah, that will contain a, a massive raft of performance boosters and, you know, dashboards and, uh, you know, configurators, which will let you optimize uh, the, the experience you get with the board. But there you go, that's the ProArt board. Thanks again, massive shout out to Asus for sending this over and supporting the channel and letting me, just basically letting me cover the Alder Lake launch in the way that I, that I needed to. Uh, this board is stunning. I'm absolutely in love with just this whole rear IO area and the VRM area. It's like a football stadium. <laughs> it really is, just the way it slants down. And this is all metal as well. It's just, the quality is insane. So if you want to see this in action uh, with all delete when that comes, get, like I say, get subscribed, ding the notification bell. I'm going to be using this extensively with all the 3D CAD testing and professional testing. So yeah, thanks very much and I'll see you in the next one. Doodles.